Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Engineering Simple. Today's video will continue the discussion of the stabilizer and winding topic posted on July 21st, 2019. In the next slide, the Excel sheet screenshot to my left represents a transformer with system impedances included in the calculation of false currents, while the Excel sheet screenshot to my right represents the same transformer with infinite bus. So as you can see, to my left, a screenshot of an Excel sheet calculation that I, uh, I made for a, trans for a 345 kV to 138 kV transformer. So uh, in this case, uh, so to the screenshot to the left, it uses system impedances. So as you can see here, what I'm pointing, that's the positive sequence impedance, the here negative sequence impedance of the system, and here the, ne uh, the zero sequence impedance of the system. The stabilizer winding is rated 7.2 kV. To my right is a screenshot of the same transformer, but infinite bus was assumed. So as you can see, the system impedances are very small. The Excel sheet, unfortunately, does not allow me to put zero. It, it says you cannot divide by zero. So I just made the system impedance values very small. So to the left, so using system impedances, you can see the highest current that the stabilizing winding would see is if there is a line to ground fault on the high voltage, in this case 345 kV, which is 24.2 kA. While if I assumed infinite bus, the highest current that the stabilizer and winding would see for a line to ground fault on the high voltage 345 kV is 13.7 kA. So you can see that in assuming infinite bus, the fault current that the stabilizer winding would see is halved. So this shows the importance of including the system impedances in the fault current calculation for properly sizing the stabilizer winding. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive more videos. And if you have any questions or would like to know more about a certain topic, please e email me at engineeringsimpleyt at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good day.